That is the sweet sound of airing down, which means we're giving this a go. <laughs> we're off hunting this weekend, but it's not what you think. We're not chasing animals, we're hunting for axes. Helco Work Axe Company buried a crate of axes in these mountains, so stay tuned. The treasure hunt starts now. Helco gave us a map of the general location and of the back roads where this treasure's been hidden. And it's on the northwest side of Big Bear. So not the south side, that stuff's all closed right now. In fact, this is all closed right now. We, <laughs> we just have to find a way in. If you want to try and find the location on your own, the clues are in the video description. You can pause the video, jump on Google Satellite View, and see how you fare. Our first clue was, from where I sit, the watchful ranger could see if crafty fires were spreading around me. Knowing there's a fire lookout on Butler Peak and that it overlooks Crafts Peak, we felt confident that this was our starting point, so we headed up a fire road to get to Crafts Peak. It is beautiful. We've made it up into the snow. I love being up here, except for one thing. That. Oh, man. Are we sure the gate is definitely locked? There's a fire station. Should we stop in and ask him? Absolutely. All right. See if there's a way up. We really should have called him before we left. Well, probably. <laughs> we drove back down to the fire outpost and found it empty. But as luck would have it, the firemen returned as we were coming up with our next plan. We spent some time gaining the trust of the firemen before gathering some intel on the roads and then heading back out to try our luck on a secret road they knew about. Greg, are we gonna make it? We're gonna try. All right. <laughs> Did he say that there's a road that's open? We stopped by the fire station and actually got some really good information about a road that may be open. I don't know if this is gonna be passable or not. They spent a lot of time going over our recovery gear making sure that we were ready to get up there because they don't want people going up there. They have to rescue a lot of folks. So now we're gonna go see if their secret road is passable. So this road does have tire tracks on it. Greg, you're trying to see if they've got chains, if they use chains. I mean, it looks pretty tore up, but it's kind of hard to tell. We're hunting for treasure. Oh so no. Appropriate. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Do you have uh, lockers or no? I do not have lockers engaged at this point. Yeah, me, me neither since I'm in four high. I think I gotta turn my traction control off now. I'm feeling pretty good about this road. I mean, it's definitely snowy and deeper, but I'm feeling like this is doable. Like literally an hour ago, I thought this wasn't gonna happen. All right, so we found a spot here where the forest service got stuck. This is the end, their tire tracks ended. This is, this is like really way more than I expected when I left the house this morning. Yes, agreed. Up here on a road with, with fresh, we're, we're the fresh tracks. We're the only tracks up here and it's just incredibly beautiful. It's been at least a week and a half since we got that snow up here and nobody else has come up here based on yeah. the tracks. Yeah, good point. All right, man, let's, let's get on. Let's find it. How much more gates are there? I don't, I'm hoping we don't run into any more gates because if we do, we're done. If there are no more gates, this is gonna work. Definitely agree. Still have to find the time. Even if we don't find the treasure? Yeah. yeah, but you know what? The fact that there's all this snow up here is making me feel good about no one taking the treasure. I was thinking somebody else might have got it before us. But now, I think if we can just make it through the snow, the treasure's gonna be there.
that's what I'm hoping. For a second, I ended up getting uh, stuck here, so let me try and back up and just give it a little bit more speed. Copy that, yeah. I mean, we should maybe at some point reassess if we're going to keep going or not, uh, based off of what the uh, fireman said about not wanting to go up here. Reassessing wasn't in our vocabulary, so we doubled down and pressed on. It is definitely a little nerve wracking driving in the snow where nobody has been because there could be hidden rocks or hidden ditches, hidden holes. I know that there's a lot of rain up here before this snowfall a few weeks ago and that could have changed things as well. I mean, just looking at this road, it's getting a lot worse. Let's see this tough spot, let me show it to you. So we got to a beautiful spot. Uh, just amazing, there are footprints coming in here. And uh, Greg, why are we standing around in this beautiful spot? Uh, debating on if we can get through this big trench. Check this out. The road goes this way, but what the heck is this washout? No one has passed this. And I don't know that we are either. On first assessment, we were like, the road is way too washed out. And right now I'm about to try to convince Greg that we can do it. <laughs> so here's what I'm saying. Here's what I'm thinking. Yeah. In a matter of uh, an hour's work to work, we might be able to cross this road. I would hate to run into this five more times. And so I think before we do that, we should send the drone up and follow the road for a little bit and just make sure we're not running into a bunch of these. Yeah. But if it's just one, it would be worth putting in an hour's worth of work. Okay. And so, uh, I, you with all that? Let's throw up the drone and uh, I'll agree to it later. Oh, he's gonna... <laughs> <laughs> We'll have to do this like five more times and there's no guarantee that we'll be able to even make it. Just as far as I could see, this is not passable. So our options are, do we want to camp here or is it early enough in the day that we should try another way in to find the treasure? Another way. All right. So Another way. Uh, never look, quit. Never quit. Right now we've come up this road. This is on my Onyx. And this is where we got stuck. This is the road down to Crab Flat. According to the conversation we had with a fireman, he said Crab Flat is open. Once we're down into Crab Flat, the question is, can we then come back? In Jurassic Park, when the Velociraptor is trying to get out and they just keep hitting the fence in different places until finally they find a spot that's weak. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. All right. <laughs> we're Velociraptors. The thing about all this is the sun is setting. It's uh, three o'clock now. And that means we have about two hours worth of sunlight. And two hours is not a lot of time to get up here. So we're probably gonna be camping somewhere once it gets dark and going from there. Let's see what our options are. another road. This is going to be road number three that we're uh, trying to get back in and uh, we're going to see if we run into a washout or a gate. So we don't know. Looking forward to some excitement. So if we don't find the treasure today 
we'll have to find it tomorrow. Yeah, if we're if we start off early in the day, I mean, we could hike past these roads, but it's just gonna be a lot of hiking. It's such a funny thing that we literally can just drive down a completely unknown road knowing that we can just camp here if we need to. <laughs> like we can just stop, pop the tent, make a fire, and uh, spend the night. Talk about the yeah, I love it. Once again, the tracks have stopped and we are finding ourselves in places where we cannot easily drive. Um, I'm gonna put it in Ford Low. And I'm gonna go with some lockers. Lock. And I'm gonna see how much that helps or doesn't help. Here we go. Oh man, I'm driving way better. I was stuck a minute ago, and now I just drove right up it. All right, I am currently stopped from Ford Progress. I'm gonna back up and see if I can keep coming forward. I just wanted to get out and inspect the road a little bit. This is what we got going on. The question is just how hard is it going to be to get up there? All right. Probably that one fine. Back there, I don't know, I just hit that gully. Yeah, I was stuck here in, in some deep stuff, so. Yeah, I just had to keep backing up and ramming. And All right, I mean, we're definitely pushing a little bit. Pushing. Hit it. It wasn't long before we found ourselves putting on tire chains, but even with them, the steep road became increasingly difficult. So we turned around and headed back to a spot we could camp for the night. I love how the tires are pointed all the way left, but you're going to the right. Dude, this is crazy. <laughs> We put in a valiant effort. This is pretty impressive. Three different roads. Uh, trackless roads. So we, trackless we got to roads. spots where there were no tracks and, uh, and we went far. So why did we stop? What happened here? Uh, well, we both put on chains and the snow just got too deep. Aired down. So we're aired down we're to 12. Down. We got chains and it, the struggle was just, we were doing this thing where we were just going a little bit at a time and charging it and then eventually stopped and we we're just digging in. And, uh, you know, it's, it's one of those things where I, I don't know, I don't think we, if you had to get past that, you know, like you could maybe dig or traction board every five feet, maybe, but we literally have miles of this. Yes. So, uh, I think with that, we, uh, set up some camp spots uh, and I'm gonna I'm gonna throw the drone up real quick and see if I can capture any sunset. Absolutely, it'll be beautiful. I mean, <laughs> it's going down. We kind of missed it, but beautiful. let's see. No axes meant no firewood. So we gathered around our propane fire pit to stay warm. <laughs> it's cold, man. It's not a warm night. So we know pretty much where we need to go. Yes. We've exhausted all possible ways of driving. The only thing we can do is hike. I agree. You just checked and you said it's three and a half miles? Three and a half miles each way. In the snow? In the snow from here. It's a uh, elevation change going up about 1200 feet from yeah, where we are now. about the elevation. <laughs> <laughs> we go up and then we sled down. Okay. With a case in our hands. Yeah. 
and just drag the case. <laughs> shovels. I think we should take shovels. Absolutely. At best, I mean, it's six inches under snow probably at this point. It's going to so. be more. It's going to be in a drift. Yeah. Um, all right. I've got a pack shovel. So do I. So we'll bring probably both. Yeah, let's bring them both. They're both small and light. All right. We've got a mission. The fire pit has melted into the snow. I know. I see that. <laughs> it's gone. All right, man. <laughs> it was cold. Very cold. Seven miles round trip, and it'll be snowing when we get back. Yeah, so, so. that's going to be quite a hike, man. It will. Uh, we'll do it with sleds. We'll do it with some supplies and uh, we'll get up there. So, yep. all right. Here we what's, go. What's going on this morning? Yep. <laughs> all right, we left the Jeeps. Now we're hiking. Pulling the little guy to try to save his energy as much as possible. We know we're on the right road. Right road, Greg? We're on the right road. All right. Missing the Jeeps. <sighs> we're gonna finish the mission. Let's do it. It's right about 70. 400 feet right now. Going's tough. How long is the mile? Uh, we've hiked a couple, so it's uh, we're getting towards the end. Look how beautiful it is out here. Yeah, man, I forgot to look. Uh, let's talk clues for a second. One of the clues was that the road would bend twice. The road just bent pretty good two times. We were looking on the map and we kind of identified this as the bend. There are other bends, but these are only only two that are like back to back. Hey Brody, Brody, I like that rock formation there, buddy. Straight out. Dig your heels in a little if you have to. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Woo, good seat. All right, I'm gonna walk in. Let's, let's not inspect it here, let's get the heck out of here. Yeah. <laughs> Turning into a whiteout. We have the treasure. Now we need to go downhill. Get out of here before the weather really gets us. Whoa. Now it's time for the longest sled ride of our lives. How heavy is that thing? I don't know, it's got some weight to it though. We are off the peak, uh, we're out of the wind. It is snowing, but feeling a lot less urgent than it was up there because, oh, yeah. man, it was, we were on a, on a ridge that we didn't want to fall down and it was getting pretty windy. Whew. My turn carrying the case. This thing's heavy. Thank God we're not having to carry it uphill, but still. Over three miles downhill. It's a little bit of a walk. Uh, we made it. This is exciting. All right, what do we got? Let's see what's in here. <laughs> oh. I want this one. Same handle, just. Very be careful. They're sharp. Okay. I think this would look great on my trailer. That's beautiful, man. That is the classic German style head. I was looking around on their website though, and they had so many cool things. So it's hard to choose. It's oh man. This is a great one. Very cool. I want you to keep the split, the wood splitter one. That's cool. The wood splitter one. I agree. This wood splitter one is super cool because because like, like it's got if this it gets in, and... um, all the wood will get in, and then it'll go up and smash. What's that? Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yes. My turn. Yes. Nice. That was a good hit, Brady. Nice. Yeah. Sweet. Oh, what? Wow. <laughs> like nothing. That was nice. Those wedges on oh. the side are amazing. That felt pretty good. I think I have to do it again. Oh, man. All right. That's a uh, big difference from yeah, the axes we were using before. <laughs> <laughs> these are seriously great axes.
It wasn't ever about finding the treasure. We were out here to prove to ourselves that we could. We actually did push ourselves a little bit getting up the mountain, and that made our sleep so much better on this cold winter night. Here we are back at the road, airing the tires up. Any final thoughts? Just another adventure in the books. I'm not gonna say we accomplished the impossible, but we did accomplish the improbable. That is for sure. Back roads, closed off gates, how, pulling a seven-year-old up a peak. For seven <laughs> miles round trip. In a winter storm. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, any last words? Keep the fire burning. Keep the fire burning, nice. Mm -hmm.